Yo, what's up guys? How you guys doing today? Welcome back or to the channel. All right, so we are working on a truck yet again. Got the wheel off, got the wheel spacer off. The reason why we have the wheel off, the main reason is because we got some new wheels, baby. We got some new wheels, baby. So before I show you guys these wheels, what they look like, just know that I have put some intense work into these things already since I've owned them. All right, so the barrel used to be as bad as the, well, it was a lot worse than that, like a lot worse. Um, but yeah, I cleaned it up really good with an SOS pad and um, I actually sprayed some citrus strip on the front like I did these ones right here. So um, just like these wheels, what I plan on doing is getting rid of all that clear coat and then sanding down the whole surface of the wheel and polishing it. So that's what I am working on now. I am filming a video on it. It's going to take forever. But uh, yeah, the only bad thing is these right here are 16s and the new ones are 17s um so i don't know if any tire company will be able to put these tires on i mean people stretch tires all the time but you know what i'm saying i need it to be safe because i'm going to be towing stuff but uh these wheels right here were on facebook marketplace for 150 bucks i offered the dude uh 50 bucks for them drove 40 minutes to go get them and they are off of a 2003 uh, Yukon Z71. You guys ready to see them? Three, two, boom. These things are freaking beautiful. I mean, they look like crap right now because, as I said, I'm in the process of stripping all the clear coat off. So, yeah, this is polished right here, and this is not polished. So, you have to sand it down to get rid of the vinyl record, which is this right here. You won't hear that when there's clear coat on because the clear coat fills in all those uh, machine marks. But when you sand all that down, you don't hear it. You have to sand them all down. It takes a while. If you're doing it by hand, I would suggest getting an orbital sander. I'm gonna tell y'all, man, it's very weird putting wheels on a vehicle with no tires. So it almost, it feels like it's not gonna fit. Are you guys ready to see them? Boom. There you go, guys. Dude, already without the tires, this is gonna look so freaking good. So, man, yeah, these are 17s. I don't know the exact tire specs because I bought them like this, but hopefully we can put these Coopers on it. And uh, yeah, so, man, I only paid 50 bucks for these, bro. <laughs> $50, I'm cheap, bro. So this is definitely a budget build truck. So yeah, dude, that looks so good, bro. 2003 Chevrolet Yukon Z71 wheels. Man, I mean, I am very picky when it comes to wheels. These right here, in my opinion, are the best looking wheels that came factory on these trucks. Anything else doesn't really look good. Uh, but these right here, it's a game changer. All right, so this is what I plan on doing with these wheels. So obviously, I'm gonna get all the clear coat off. I'm gonna sand it all down and then I'm gonna polish them, all right? They're gonna be completely polished like a mirror. And then all the inserts that you see, I wasn't actually gonna paint those because they're silver and it looks just like this right here. It looks really good, it sparkles and everything. Somebody just shot a gun. <laughs> but um, I wasn't gonna paint those, but it was already too late. It already got stripped. So the new plan is uh, clean these up really good, sand them down and paint them to match the truck, all right? That is gonna look so good. I don't know if I wanna do it with the center as well. Um, the center caps on these, they're like, it looks like a billet piece of aluminum. It's really cool looking. Got a little tiny bow tie in it. It's really cool. But um, I wanna keep the uh, center cap chrome along with the wheel. Man, oh man, this does look so good. That's some big meats, them Larry Hoovers. Man, that just looks so good. All right, you guys, you guys know what is to come. So if you guys wanna see the progress of these wheels being stripped and sanded and uh, chromed and painted the whole nine, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Turn on bell notifications so you guys never miss a video. And uh, yeah, dude, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, show your grandparents. Cause I know your grandpa is a classy guy. He likes these old school bodega trucks these things are beautiful all right you guys peace 
If you're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, I want you to share this video. Jesus said, go preach the gospel to all creation. Souls are going to go to hell if we don't spread the gospel. You sharing this video can literally get the gospel to somebody and save their soul from eternal damnation. The Bible says that if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. So right now I offer to you the free gift of salvation. Believe in your heart and pray this prayer out loud right now with me. If you want salvation, say, Dear Lord Jesus, please forgive me for my sins. I believe that you died for me on the cross and rose from the dead three days later. If you prayed that prayer, comment, save, use this sound, make your own video, make the gospel go viral.